Boo! Um. Okay, with the yo ho ho, it's Tale of the Toaster. Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario Blind, where we get straight into a fight with four ambushes. Uh, yeah, let's just get rid of these quickly. We're in a bit of a hurry. Bye, Abba Storm! Bosh. Please don't have more than 7 HP. Ah, oh. oh, well, it's not that bad. I can switch to Cooper. But yes, in the last episode, we didn't make very much progress, and it was only 13 minutes long, but I just... Gotta be honest, after fighting so many enemies and getting lost off screen, I just had enough and I needed to cut it off there. But now I am motivated to find the two missing Yoshis. I thought there was only one missing Yoshi, but the, the big one said that there was two left. So I'll have a look around it. Oh, well, <laughs> that made it easier. Ah, that was so scary. We were playing hide and seek and there was this weird plant and it trapped me here. Sushi was right. We should have just stayed inside the village to play hide and seek. We should have obeyed her. Thanks for coming to get me. I'm going home now. I'm going home now. Alright, so there's only one Yoshi left and it's that purple one sleeping in a tree. And you, it's in plain sight. I just don't quite know how to get to it. But I'm gonna have a look around, so... Give us a moment, will yous? Right, have I been here? Hop onto the platform and go down. This could be it. This is it! Get down! Get down, get down. With that, in just under three minutes, we have saved all the other Yoshis. We were playing hide and seek and I got real sleepy. I figured I'd take a nap here. There's nothing to worry about. The jungle's not so bad. Oh, I'm starting to get a bit lonely though, so maybe I ought to head back home. Bye now! And with that, we've saved all the little Yoshi children, and we're giving a very, very long thumbs up. Mario just didn't want that thumbs up to end. <laughs> oh well. So, I'll have a little look down here. It's a new place, what what? With a plank. Ah, oh, that's gonna create a little shortcut, maybe? If it falls over? Yes, it does. And so, we'll see where it leads. Ah, a nice shortcut back to the beginning. So, we've saved all the fearsome five. Wow! Oh, we had fun, even though we had to be rescued by scary human man. And everyone's calm again. Right, so, we have our objective. We need to see... The village leader? Mario World Man! The village leader was just looking for you! I'd say it wants to thank you! Better hurry, hmm? He might just tell you where the treasure is if he's feeling thankful enough! Whoa! <laughs> yes, good one, Colorado! Oh, now you're gonna be scolded. I read it as scolded at first. That would be a bit more gruesome, which the volcano could definitely pull off! Right. The fierce and fly the back! Boy, there was a lot of tasty food growing in the jungle. That adventure was both thrilling and filling. Ha! Everyone gives me flack for eating all the time. What else is there to do here? Drink volcano water, that's what. If you go on an adventure, you gotta take snacks. Even grown-ups know that. Yeah, why do grown-ups not like sweets? Why does everybody like chocolate more? I mean, come on, <laughs> sweets are way better. With all the sugar and the colour and the nice taste and Tyrannosaurus Allen, I can't believe I spoke over his lines. But that is something which gets on my mind quite a lot. I don't understand why chocolate is more popular than what you Americans would call candy. I didn't need the accent, but fair enough. Now, well, enough talking to Yoshis. I need to see the village leader. Oh, there he is. Well, I know how to thank you for saving the children. You've even woke me up. The village leader said there's something he wants to give you, you know. He's waiting for you over there. Alright, thanks, sleepyhead, who's not very sleepy anymore. You kind of woke up. Right, village leader! 
Mario, I must thank you. You have saved the children of the village. I feel that no expression of our gratitude could be enough. You truly are a hero. We deeply appreciate your valor. At least I can do this. You still wish to go to Mount Lava Lava, don't you? I have remembered a good way to reach the volcano. Please, come this way. Towards the statue. I knew it would do something. Uh -huh. I thought it was somewhere around here. What, what? I think it made... Oh, yes, I found it. Here it is. Take it, please. We got the Jade Raven, hmm? Jade is quite a nice shade of green. Whenever events beyond our control occur on this island, we ask the help of Raphael the Raven, the island's master. If anyone can help you reach the volcano, it's definitely Raphael the Raven. He lives in the depths of this island. If you place that Jade Raven into the statue of Raphael, the way into the depths of the jungle will appear. I haven't been to see Raphael since I was but a young Yoshi. I remember that it was incredibly difficult to find him because the jungle's trees and shrubs covered the way. I'm sure you'll find the path. May all your wishes come true. Ah, oh, thanks mate, you've really done us a favour. Wait just one minute, you must have a heck of a story behind you, Mario. Why in the world would you want to go to Mount Lava Lava? It's very hot and very dangerous in the volcano. If you aren't extremely careful and lucky, you'll be roasted to a golden brown. Well, I am tail of the toaster, so that's nothing new for me. But you don't care, you guys are going there anyway. I do not approve of this. Are you going to tag along anyway? Uh, 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 you're going to the volcano because you want to save some princess from the bad guys? What a touching story. Romantic stories like that just touch a soft spot in this heart of mine. That does it. I can't let you go alone. I, Sushi, will be by your dinner plate until the very end. I mean by your side. You needn't worry, Mario. I love taking care of others. If you plan on getting through this jungle, you need me anyway. Yeah, exactly. That's the point. I can't swim without you, so it wasn't really any question. Of course they were coming with them. Yeah, I actually tried to put a coconut into the raven statue. That seems so stupid now. But uh, I'm just going to have a little chat to the Yoshis before I set off to the jungle. Boing! Raphael! Well, not Raphael, but Raven's car! I have found your statue, and I will see your master. You tell me nothing new about it. Okay. Damn it. I could go see the bubble, because maybe now that I've rescued the Yoshis it will be ready, but I think I'll give it a little bit longer before I do that. Oh, that's not what I was meant to do. Goes directly underneath. Directly to you, no, directly underneath the jungle, Fuzzy, and make our way to the Raven statue. Did anyone ever watch Raven on CBBC? I always preferred CBBC even when I was at the recommended CBBC aid. And then I got into CITV because they showed Pokemon and Horrid Henry. But meanwhile, we should perhaps focus on the fact that the giant statue is moving aside and we're gonna go through it to see what's behind. Well, it's a slightly different colour scheme, I can tell you that much. Does rock do anything? Uh, oh, fine then. I deeply regret not using Star Storm, though, but it looks like I'm going to be rewarded for my long fight. Yes, I get extra monetary reward. Good God, <laughs> that is a lot of coins. Now then, the exclamation mark was just because of that, not because of the rock. The rock is just kind of nothing. Star piece? No, it's been a while since I've got a star piece just by bashing a tree. I used to get loads of them that way. Maybe this tree? No, the trees are just losing their worth. Yeah, well, onwards we go. Save the rainforest and whatnot. Come on, give me some, just, just a coin. That's a shadow. Hmm. Maybe if... There's loads of shadows, actually. Oh, I am just one of many Sonic clones. 
put me in Smash Brothers, they my fans say. What am I on about Shadow the Hedgehog? Right, these... Are they Shadow? Okay, I think I need to put one block on each hole, I suppose. That's an idea. Yeah, I'm going to have to roll one of these quite a long way. Well, might as well start now. Reminds me of Victory Road back in the very first Pokemon game. You'd have to shove boulders such a long distance just to get it into the right hole. If this is even what I'm meant to be doing, I really have no idea. <laughs> well, this one... Oh, do I just put it on the fountain? That would... Ah, okay. I get it now. So that every time we fill up one hole, the fountain will come out of another one. So yeah, we pretty much do have to block all the holes. Don't worry, I'll keep persisting until the job is done. <laughs> Off we go, push another block. I've removed it from another hole in the process. Where's he going to spout up now? Okay, that will do. Bosh, 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 he's making such an earthquake. Oh, oh, I see. It's supporting a big heavy weight, and off we go! Thanks, Mr. Water, Volcano Water, provided by George the Volcano. Always a good help. Oh, oh. We can't seem to get past it. Of course, put a block on top of it, because that makes sense. Now we go through it. <laughs> it could push that rock all the way up into the sky, but not... The little blue block. I don't know about you, but the blue block looked lighter to me. Whatever, I'm just bashing all the trees in desperate hope that one of them has a star piece in it. Who knows if I'm even going to get all the star pieces. I live in hope. I tell you what. Right then, I tried opening the pathway, but nothing seemed to happen. So what do I do now to progress with the storyline? Seriously, I can't I can't move these bushes. Is that just not the answer? Can I blow up this rock? Bomb it! Make it go! B -b 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 flying shot! Boom! That's not the answer either. I don't like how Bomet turns the screen dark while she's attacking the overworld. You don't get why it needs to happen. Can I, like, shake a tree? Grab a vine? Aga do 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 push pineapple, shake a tree. I can't shake a tree and I can't push a pineapple either. Right, now I'm stumped. Well, you know what to do when you're in a bit of a pickle. Looks like some of the ivy is hanging up the trees here. I wonder what would happen if you pulled a... Oh, yeah, Mario can jump. Oh, fire flower, that's fairly useful. Slightly better than... Actually, it's just just as good as Cooper's power shell. I'm just going to avoid that for now. <laughs> and now I've got even more to run away from. I suppose I should fight some of them. Uh, nah. <laughs> I'm just going to make my way out and fight a hurt plant instead. Okay, so I can finally have a star piece. Bosh! Star piece. <laughs> right. Trying to warn me away from the star piece, are you? Sozbud, but I wanted it and you can't stop me. Now, there is a reason I didn't fireball storm the other jungle fuzzies. I mean, I didn't know this was going to happen, but now it means I can you Magic Hooper? <laughs> Well, that's a surprise. Ahem, well, let's see how much they can stand up to here. And poor old Goombario's probably not going to get any action. Fireball Storm! Yeah, this does seem a bit of a challenging battle, but no problems for me. I will just switch into Cooper, who's getting a lot more attention these days, despite not getting to speak to Colorado. Is that enough to finish off the piranha plants? Oh, that only did one damage. They must have a defense stat of three. Which means I should attack with what? Because I have been informed by the comments that what 
attacks ignore the enemy's defense. Oh, don't heal. Oh, oh. Oh, and I, I, can't, I don't have another fireball storm. Uh, fire flower, well, that'll do super effective damage to the grass. No, it'll only nullify the effects of that heal, really. But yeah, I know that Watt's attacks actually ignore the defense stat. It's basically as if they were a special attack in Pokemon. So, do I have something to hit all of them? No, I don't. I'll just try and defeat one of the Prana plants. I should heal soon as well, but... Thanks to what? I don't think I'm going to lose this one unless the Magikoopa thing does absolutely tons of damage with its next move. It's healing, of course. What else did you expect? I should really heal, but I'm going to risk one more turn to get rid of one more Piranha Plant. I can finish it off in this turn, thanks to the power of Emily. The child of Lil Sparky. And surely I can survive one more round before having to heal. Right? Oh, please do not kill me. Okay, they barely did any damage on that. To oh, right, poison. Oh, well, the poison's gone anyway now. Right. <laughs> They're called Putrid Piranha. <laughs> That's a fair. They've all been good names in this area, except for Spear Guy, which was supposed to be Tribal Guy. But Hurt Plant, I love that name, and Putrid Plant is good as well. Right, don't start to attack me. Yeah, just heal. I'm not scared of that. Haha, <laughs> okay, no Fireball Storms, but it's about time. Oh man, I don't want to have to use a Whacker's Bump. Fine, I'll just wipe out this Putrid Piranha, and then we'll see what the Magikoopa can do as its own free spirit. To putrid piranha. Go back to the disgusting land you came from. Surely he's gonna attack now that he's on his own. I hope. Oh! He just ran away! Well, I won't complain. Nine star points was a bit low, if you ask me. <laughs> Considering all the work we had to go through to win that battle. Ooh, panning camera. Well, we must be very near to Raphael the Raven. This is reminding me of Legend of Zelda the Wind Waker, actually. Where you meet Makar. Or whatever he's called. Well, the great Deku trees there, of course. I'm hoping there's going to be a save block inside, but I'll just have to go in and find out. Yes, there is. So I'm going to call it a day on this episode, but we made a fair bit of progress. We saved the last of the Yoshis and had a long, difficult battle. So in the next one, we're going to try and find Raphael the Raven. See you later.